Okay, class, so we're uh, back to modeling here, and uh, we're going to do another video on the Coke can. Um, we have previous videos kind of split in uh, three parts with a um, particle system, but this one is just for modeling purpose and texturing purpose. All right, so first thing is uh, I'm going to delete this uh, Coke uh, image right here just so that uh, I can show you how it got there. But first, let's add an object, mesh, cylinder. All right, so we're starting off an object that's looking like a Coke can already regarding its shape, okay? And uh, to kind of show you, there it is. And it comes default to um, 32 vertices or sides, basically. And don't worry about this. We'll, we'll modify all that, all right? So just the default one, all right? And now I'm going to go and turn on my screencast so you can see what I'm clicking here. All right, and uh, I'm going to go to the front viewport, numpad 1, if you have a numpad. If you don't, you have to keep going here in viewpoint or select it here using the uh, uh, appropriate uh, axis, okay? So I have uh, uh, all these uh, three images right here, and they're just basically found on the internet, all right? And... Uh, I'll leave those in the description for you to download. All right, so first thing is the can Coke front. So I'll drag that in there, okay? And we will uh, leave the uh, default uh, can uh, as the size that we're gonna conform it to. So we will move and scale this one, okay? To meet this one and set up scaling this to meet the photo. So let's first position the uh, the photo that we drag from Explorer or Finder into the screen, and make sure when you do that you're in object mode and you're in the front viewport. If you're in any other viewport, you drag that, it'll be skewed, okay? So let me just show you. So if I were kind of like that at an angle, I drag it in, it'll look flat like so, but in reality, look, now when we actually click on number one, that's what it looks like, okay? So make sure you're in object mode, drag it in, I'm going to press N for my sidebar, go to item, location, I'm going to put in 000 on all three entries right here, just so that it goes back to the center of the wall, because when you move any of this, that's position right there. Okay, we're also going to scale it so that it's the same kind of uh, size as the uh, cylinder, all right? And I'm assuming here that this photo is centered, right? It looks like it is. So I'm going to press S to scale and drag the mouse. Uh, select the object first, sorry. S, drag the mouse, and then just kind of eyeball it. All right, that looks like that's good enough. Okay, so now what we can do with this, um, we can push this back so that uh, uh, we're kind of copying it and it's it's uh, it's to the back, but we can also leave it here. It's not that important, okay? So we'll leave that in there, and then I'm gonna go to the top, number seven on the numpad, okay? And I'm gonna drag the other one, the lid, there it is. Um, I like this one because it's uh, it's uh, one of the more kind of simpler design, okay? All right, so we're going to uh, select this one. I'm gonna go zero, zero, zero on this one just so that we know it's kind of centered. Oops, sorry, forgot to drag the input. All right, right there. And then I'm going to just kind of eyeball and center it here, okay? So I'm gonna go to X-ray mode just so that uh, we can kind of see where the uh, original cylinder is and then we see through it and we can position this better. So first I'm going to scale it S. Okay, and then we want this on the outer, the red one basically. Okay, and I don't know if this is, uh, you know, a good photo of it, like uh, uh, in a way like uh, um, no distortion, okay, but uh, we're going for the lid here. So I'm going to scale it a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to rotate it because we do want to, when we work on these things, we want it kind of centered here. All right. And if you want to get alpha channel on this one, make it a little bit more transparent, we can go to its property here. Okay, and then uh, we can uh, click on opacity, turn it on right there. Then you can dial that down. Okay, so it's not, you know, all the way solid and whatnot. So 
totally up to you. All right, and then here, uh, let me dial it down so I can see the uh, I can see the y-axis right here. All right, this way I can uh, when I uh, when I center it like so. The rotation also, I want to make sure that that's kind of correct. So, all right. So why am I showing this to you where this thing is not prepared? Well, this is a learning opportunity here because sometimes you don't have to grab reference images online that are perfectly uh, uh, positioned and, uh, and matching what you need. You know, they can come in at, uh, at a weird rotation, all right, or whatever, and then it would still match, okay. All right, so I think right there, a little bit to the right, I'm more concerned about the inside right here because everything here we just kind of follow along, you know, it will, it will work, okay? So it's kind of centered right there, and let's uh, go to the other position right here. While the top is still kind of selected there, I'm gonna move it up so it's out of the way, okay? There we go, and then when we go to the top later on, we could, sit, we could still see the uh, cylinder and then manipulate it and then be able to work. All right, so we got those, the front and the top. Okay, position with our reference image, okay? Another thing is that I can't really find any photo where they shot the Coke can at a huge focal point, meaning there's no distortion. We still see a little bit of distortion here and over here. So when we're tracing this, we have to kind of take that into consideration it's going to show flat because that's an orthographic view, which is flat viewport, okay? And this is shot, of course, it's perspective. But you can control this distortion if you know a little bit about photography and you can pick the correct um, uh, focal length or lens, okay? And I'm not talking about manipulating and fixing it in Photoshop because you could do that, but um, yeah, I guess, but that's not photography, all right? So, all right, so we'll leave it like this. Now I will save this in case I need to go back. So let's say I ruined my Coke uh, can uh, the beginning, you know, and then I can't really go back and something happens here. I can go back to Coke 01 right there and then start over basically and then I got all my reference image uh, set up. Another thing here is that we have our label Okay, that we will kind of use to wrap around the side of the cylinder. All right, so let's get started. Okay, uh, we'll, um, we'll select this one. So what I'll do with my, uh, my images right here, I don't want to accidentally select them. Okay, so I want to lock them. So here in the outliner right here, or the collection, uh, the, this is the filter, it looks like a funnel. Okay, click on the funnel right there, add the arrow right here which gives it selectability option so by default blender doesn't turn on all this thing so you got to turn it on and then after that um, I'm just going to unselect light and but of the empty right there and the camera also so only this object is selectable at this point so you can't accidentally select and move those by accident okay so we're gonna go back to our cylinder right here um, I have x-ray uh, mode on I'm gonna turn on um, uh, wireframe mode for now okay so what I'll do here is uh, I will go to edit mode so that will be hitting tab or click down here edit and then press 1 or click that one right there to select vertices okay so I'm gonna size this first uh, before we start kind of curving it right so I will select it all the way here okay and then I will move it all the way up so I'm gonna use my move tool since I have x-ray when I select it selects everything front and the back as well. If you don't have x-ray on and you drag a selection, you don't select the back. All right, keep that in mind. So I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, I'm gonna use my move tool right here so I can just click and drag this one and go all the way up here. All right, then we will add the, uh, before the kind of cylinder, I mean um, the lip or the uh, kind of chrome or aluminum part. I'll do the same thing here, probably right there. So I'm kind of, you know, meeting halfway. 
I probably need to lower this just a bit. Keep in mind there's a distortion in there we're trying to avoid. So why are we just not getting the shape already? Well, we want to get our, um, our label uh, set in first, okay? Um, when you look at the Coke can, and the best way to actually do this, folks, is to actually have one in your hand. So, you know, we're using a photo reference here, but nothing beats a real uh, reference model. So I do suggest you get one and look at it, all right? So the label here on this can, it's, um, it's printed on the aluminum part. So uh, the same where it connects, all right? So let's take a look at that again, the label right here. So this part right here and that one would meet. Okay. It's just red color, so you're not going to see any um, cuts in there, but you got to keep that in mind because when you uh, position your can uh, where you want that, uh, you know, um, you don't want that facing um, like the front right here. I don't know if you played Doom 3, a game back in the day. Um, they have a cut in the middle in front of their face, and it's kind of distracting, right, because you're seeing... Um, you're seeing uh, what's happening on the, oh, did I forget to put those? Let me just, yeah, so I got forgot to when I was demoing, so let me put those back. All right. And like so, about meet halfway. All right, you don't want the, basically the seam or the cut to be a front, okay? So here we will uh, kind of define the, uh, where that should be, right? So, but let's uh, first, uh, because this is a cylinder, it actually might be at the back. So let's take a look at that one. So let's go to UV editing. So by default, uh, if you look at the uh, cylinder right here, it's already uh, UV labeled for you because it's, uh, it is a uh, cylinder. It's one of the primitives, right? If you look here, how it's gonna be positioned, we have the top part and this part where the label will be, okay? The thing is, we need to find out where the cut is. So if I just select those two right there, okay, or, uh, sorry, if I, um, if I select my uh, edge right here, all right, and let's see, uh, let's select our face right here. So that one is in there, the back. All right, so it's actually at the back, so it's actually positioned right here. So if I go press number one, which is the front, and I do control, let me turn on my screencast. So if I do control one, it will show the back, control one on the numpad, okay? So if you take a look here, this is the back, and then basically, so it actually is uh, UV map correctly already, so the cut will be in the back, all right? So when we actually press A, right here press one to go back and then press eight to select everything now we can just add our label and just kind of position it right here okay and we can change the height so on and so forth all right so let's go to our shading okay we do have the video series on this one so if you don't have uh, the skill for it yet uh, go watch those videos from week two all right so we're going to select this and then we're going to add a, a texture for it i mean a shader so I'm going to click new, okay, and we would just drag the photo uh, Coke label here so it's ready for to replace the base color, right? So color to color, color to base color, sorry. All right, there it is. It looks kind of weird because um, it's not positioned properly, but it's there now. Uh, what else do we need to change from this? It's going to be metallic. All right, and then uh, I don't know how rough or shiny it should be for now. Just let's leave it on uh, 0.5 for now. And that's pretty much it for now, okay? Let's go back to UV editing. And then here we go. So now uh, we need to select all these parts that would be the label, okay? Any of these parts would be the label right there. And then what we need to do is basically fit it where the label is, okay? And uh, we can uh, also do uh, uh, apply the transform scale on this one, but no need for now, okay? So what I'll do is I'll scale this until the sides are the same, okay? Position right there, select this top. Kind of drag that down a little bit. And let's take a look what this one is doing here. 
Okay, right here. If you lose selection, of course, just press A right here to select everything so you have access to uh, the UV. Select the bottom right there and then just drag that all the way right there. Okay, kind of check this, make sure you're exactly on the line right there. It's kind of all right. Okay, so that's it. That's the front right there, and it's cutting it on the uh, this side right here and connecting it to that one. So it's not positioned uh, correctly right here, but then again, once we move the camera to where we need it, so that's what we're, we'll show it. So that's where the cut right here. You don't see it because it's just red. Okay, so as far as UV editing for now and our texture paint, it's all done uh, and, and we're good to go. Okay, so I will select the... Um, I will select the face right here for the top and the bottom, okay? And then just select those by dragging and then just kind of move them down here so they don't share. Uh, well, we can just leave them there, but for now, so if confusion is uh, not there, we're going to move them right here, okay? Um, let's select the can again. Uh, I did say we're done. We're actually not done. We need to add one more, okay? So we're going to click plus, all right, and then we're going to click new. Let's make this one metallic, leave it as white. That will be for the aluminum part, all right? So when we're ready to assign materials to it, it'll be there, and then we'll just kind of assign it. So this one, let's call this one Coke label. And then uh, we'll kind of call this one Coke aluminum. All right, so that's the parts right there. All right, so let's go back to our modeling. NumPad 1, X-ray, okay, and in... Uh, wireframe mode and then let's do our modeling here okay so here I will uh, start adding cuts all right so to add a cut right here uh, it's, uh, I would need to go to edit mode and then we're using our tool right here loop cut okay control R or command R all right what it does is when you do uh, control R and find a horizontal or a vertical edge you get a uh, the opposite cut okay so here I want it on my vertical cut because I want a cut all the way around so if I were to rotate my camera just to show you what this does when I do control R there it is so and if I scroll my mouse you can get multiple of these we just won't need one for now okay so let me hit escape on that one press one right here numpad one just so that we could see that let me make sure my screencast is running again so I'm going to do Control R, left click to confirm, and then now I can move my mouse up and down where I want to position it. So I do want it right here, so where that slope kind of starts, okay, all right there, and then uh, I'm just going to select all these parts right here. So I'm going to go to uh, 1 for vertex mode. Make sure X-ray is on. I'm going to drag this selection here. I'm going to press S. It's kind of eyeballing the uh, the uh, diameter of that one. Okay, so somewhere in there, maybe increase it a bit. So then I'm pressing S all X Y um, um, uh, X and Y. All right, X and Y is. Uh, what my uh, what I'm scaling because I'm in a flat viewport right here. All right, so let's take a look. That's basically all it looks like right now. Very crude looking. Okay, so let's go back uh, for the bottom right here. Uh, we need to add, of course, uh, uh, to this selection. So if I go here, if I press this one, the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to press E to extrude. I'm going to drag this all the way down here. All right. And then I'm going to scale that. So just kind of um, probably move this up a bit. Again, we're trying to compensate for the distortion here. All right. Right there. Probably. All right. Probably good. That's good right there. All right. So let's take a look. All right, we got those parts. Okay, now let's select the top. I'm in uh, face mode. Let's add the lid for it. Okay, and uh, 
I'm gonna press E so it move up a bit I'm gonna press S to scale that so I want it to go out a little bit like so all the way to that side because that's gonna be the lip press E again all right up to the height right there turn around. come back to my x-ray okay and then press E again and we're just copying that scaling right there I'm gonna press S all right so let's take a look let's hide our empties just so that we see what's happening turn off x-ray all right we're we're getting there okay so now let's select everything that's supposed to be aluminum okay so with this top selected I'm going to do control plus on the numpad so it grows my selection all the way up to that one right there all right and uh, I can go to my shader right here select coke aluminum and then hit assign that takes that color and we'll adjust that later of course select the bottom control plus it grows your selection all right if you have don't have the numpad um, I don't know how you can grow your selection with other keyboard shortcut but it's going to have to be uh, well we need to look at that shortcut uh, alternative okay if not uh, you know you can uh, alt click a vertical line it selects the entire thing and then shift click the bottom it will be the same thing and assign that so now we have the uh, the basics all right so if you're going for low poly stuff that's just going to be in some shelf that you're never going to uh, interact with uh, this is probably too high poly because you have a lot of sides right here but you know this is a very simple can now it should kind of work on its own uh, then we'll add the detail now okay right here I'm gonna go to file save as and then I'm gonna click on this plus sign right here it'll append the number I have zero two now okay I'm gonna click save all right so now let's add all the details so let me bring back the first empty which is this one go to x-ray all right so uh, sorry uh, wireframe mode okay I'm gonna hit tab to go to edit mode so I need to add all the other uh, uh, sections now to uh, actually do the uh, do the modeling all right so here um, it kind of goes uh, it tapers a little bit here so I'm gonna do control R okay bring it up a little bit right there and then press S to scale so I'm just following the photo at this point okay right there and then uh, let's go all the way down here you see here that uh, it kind of tapers down right um, I'm going to add a loop cut right here Oops. Oh. sorry for escape I zoom in way too far. all right right there okay that's where it kind of starts kind of the taper all right right here too at the bottom um, there should be another loop cut right here actually that's a good spot let me press s all right kind of like so okay so we added that cut this cut right here and that cut right there all right so what we can do now is let's try and do our bevel so let me go back to object mode with the can selected I'm gonna go to object apply scale okay so that means our proportions now are basically as if it just started like this one 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 on the scale and when we do our bevel um, there'll be proportion the angle would be correct okay so very important object apply scale all right so let's go to our edit mode let's select uh, there might be some trial and error here uh, regarding uh, how uh, those things are actually being uh, uh, in a way uh, bevel okay so let's uh, uh, let's try first the, all the areas we need to bevel I'm gonna select this so I'll click one of this edge and it selects it all the way around right there all right I'll do the same thing here so but this time I'm gonna go alt shift click so it adds that ring as well okay so let's add the other ones this one right here alt shift click and we need one right here I think and then one more here all right so if we take a look without the uh, empty right there 
that was already selection. Okay, that looks like the face is selected because there's no other areas for it. Okay, so now let's take a look. Go back to one. So to bevel, uh, really simple. You simply right click, bevel edges, drag the mouse. All right, so we're getting the uh, the curvature right there. Uh, but I think we need to separate the bevel from the top and the bottom because when I bevel this, I need more bevel here, but it's already exceeding the one at the bottom. Okay, so let's kind of group what uh, needs to be together. So I think everything is good except the bottom ring. So I'm going to right click here and cancel that bevel, right? So I will go back in here and then simply click undo before I added that selection right there. So now I only have one, two, three, four rings, okay? I do want to make sure that I have apply scale um, that I didn't click undo back enough to undo that. I'm going to go back to edit mode, right click here, bevel edges, and let's take a look. All right, so the one right there. All right, so it looks like the top. Yeah, this one can't be included as well. So I'm going to... I'll shift click that so we just have this three right here all right so I'm gonna right click bevel edges and then all right so that way I think that's working right there okay um, here uh, the bottom probably not how it sh we should be beveling it because it's controlling it right here so let me see if I take this out for now so I'm gonna I'll click this thing and then press X dissolve edges let's see if that would make that fix better so just those three rings right click bevel all right I think that would work better all right so I'm gonna bevel it up to that part right there again keep in mind this is a photo with distortion so we're probably not gonna get uh, exactly what you see in the photo but closer actually to the actual can all right, so now we're going to open up our bevel right here. If you happen to click or do something else after you do the bevel, this thing's disappeared. Just click and do redo your bevel. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to add the segments. So segments are basically just cuts that gets uh, added to there. So I have five. Let me see if five is uh, smooth enough. Maybe six. All right, six. Six right there. All right, that would work also here. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit uh, too low. Then again, it's kind of correct right here. Again, the distortion is kind of messing with this thing. So, okay, I think that's fine right there. So, six segments, leave everything as default. Okay, how much bevel? I put here 0 0.09. So, I'm just going to round that up 0 0.09. Okay, just so that, uh, or maybe 0.1, let's see. All right, so let's just put 0 0.1. Okay, now let's take a look. Uh, no x-ray. This one right here. Object mode. All right, so that's looking a lot better. Okay. And uh, we can right-click this now and shade smooth it. All right. Looks kind of hokey right here. We got to turn on. Go to your data. Uh, property. Normals. Auto smooth. That will give us uh, whatever is supposed to be rigid still looking rigid okay uh, let's finish our beveling go to back to one right here I'm gonna hit uh, uh, edit mode sorry x-ray let's select this one and I think this needs some bevel okay right click bevel extrude right there maybe not all the way six maybe just five on this one okay now the bottom I got it all selected, okay. Bevel as well. All right, right there. Okay, we got that. Now let's go all the way up here. Okay, so that one, uh, this and this one. Let's bevel those. All right. Maybe something like that, and maybe just four of those because there's a lot smaller. 
Okay, now let's take a look again. Turn off our... Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's still considered low polygon, per se. I know. We're not adding subdivision surface. All right, let's uh, work on our... Um, uh, this one maybe make that a little darker. And it's definitely a lot shinier. So more like chromish. All right. There we go. All right, so press number one here. And uh, save now. Save as Coke 03. So the reason for this is that you got all these varying stages in these, in case you need to go back to a previous one, then that one is already, uh, you know, you didn't start from the very beginning, you know, or if your file get corrupted, then it's not the end of the world for you. All right, so now uh, let's uh, take a look at the bottom. Uh, I don't have any uh, reference photo for the bottom. I do have a Coke can here. And I'll just kind of show you real quick that that thing is, uh, it kind of curves in um, and it has a kind of like a leg. All right, so edit mode, face mode, select this one right here. And uh, yeah, just press, uh, we just need to give it a little bit more stability here. Maybe one more uh, uh, kind of uh, insert polygon. So press I as in ice. There you go. And then I'm going to press E to extrude. And this will go back in like so. Okay, and then now let's see if we can just bevel that. Oh, sorry, edge mode, sorry. There we go. And then let's see, just kind of dome it out like so. All right, I think that might be, uh, might need to change the shape a bit. Or, Okay, let me click undo. All right, what I'll do with this is uh, lower the bit. I think it's way too high. And I'm going to scale it also. There we go. So it already has kind of like um, that convex, I mean concave um, look for it. So I'm going to right click now, do it a bevel. Yeah, all right, so that looks a lot better. Okay, and we can just leave that like so. And if, let's say, you're not happy with this line right here, because it's way too sharp looking, then of course you're allowed to select that, right click and bevel that part. Maybe just lower the segments, maybe three segments, and that will give it that kind of very soft look to it. Okay, so we're done with the bottom. Okay, let's now tackle the top, which is, um, you need definitely a coke can right here so you could actually see what's happening um, because the picture is uh, not gonna it's not gonna show everything that you need all right so i'm going to click on edit mode let's go to x-ray mode for sure and then let's click on uh, uh turn off x-ray mode because we just want to see up here all right so um let's see uh the edge of that one is uh, this one so I'm gonna click on edge and then select it just so that we could see it okay let's go back to number seven all right so it's not the same on the photo uh, it's the lid is right here actually okay so some whatever distortion that happened to the photo uh, it's saying that size is actually right here so we actually have to scale our empty this one which is the photo to accommodate that. So let me turn back uh, selectability on this. Okay. So let me go to object mode. Okay. Select the empty. Okay. And then I'm going to scale this down. So it matches that. Well, at least close to it. All right. So, okay. So again, uh, quite a distorted image right here, so I guess here it's a little fish eyeing, but you know it's it's still okay. All right, so uncheck that again so that we don't accidentally select the the uh, empty, okay? And uh, let's go to our edit mode. 
the uh, we're going to select the face mode right here okay and I have the top selected so now I'm going to press I so create that really tiny lip okay go right there let's take a look what that looks like uh, yeah so I just basically press I and drag the mouse and I got that lip right there all right next is uh, we need to scale I mean extrude this so it goes down Okay, opening of the lid. All right, so let me show you here. Uh, actually, let me uh, get the uh, this one a little bit higher so it doesn't get it's not doesn't block us whenever we need to see that. So and select. Okay, so now we will um, press E to extrude, but we go down instead. How much uh, lower? Uh, think almost the same um, height as this one right here and then we're gonna press S to kind of taper that a bit all right so let's take a look at the top oops sorry press the wrong button all right actually up to there so I'm gonna press S okay so it kind of tapers down up to that one okay and then um, we need to go in a little bit so if you have a Coke can uh, here, so what it is is I'm going to press I. It kind of goes like that a little bit. Okay, and then how much of that? I'm um, guessing we're pretty close. So press S. Actually, we're on the dot on that one. We'll leave it like that. Okay, and then it needs to go down a little bit. This would be kind of like the valley to catch the uh, uh, spilled soda, <coughs> excuse me, press E, all right, scale it a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, we're going to extrude it going up. How high? Almost the same height as that. Uh, and then scale it a little bit in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So it kind of went down in and then down again then up all right uh, you probably noticed that uh, those things are very uh, smooth so we'll do our bevel okay I have three segments on that and I think I will leave that alone. This one right here. Let me make sure this is a little bit higher. All right, so now I'm going to bevel. Select this. It's probably just two right there. And then the very bottom. I think we can leave that as sharp looking or again if you want to bevel let's bevel that as well all right so a lot of detailed stuff right there so let me hide this one and then let's see what this kind of looks like all right so there it is I just kind of went in the valley going up and then this is the lid part all right so let's go back to the top right now I'm going to press uh, edit mode and then let's select our face here at the top right here okay and then what we need to do with this is uh, we're going to uh, press I to insert polygon I'm just going to drag it until this part and that part kind of touches okay um, Let's take a look here if our symmetry would work, all right? So let's try it first. So I'm going to click on point 
mode right here. I'm going to click here at the top. You have your X, Y, and Z symmetry. Okay, so you're supposed to be able to select X. This is X axis, and when you click on the guys right here, the other one should just follow. You see it? All right, it might not be exactly perfect because as long as we get this side perfectly done, then we don't have to worry about the other side. It'll match it. The reason why it might not match is because uh, you, again, you position this picture manually, right? So, um, so if you didn't do too well on centering it, then uh, you know, you'll know you have that gap, but it's still going to be fine. All right, so I just click that X right there, and now uh, my symmetry should be working. So. The point of this one is that uh, we're just tracing the inside for now. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm not even moving those uh, just anywhere. I'm selecting it and using the move tool right here. I'm just pressing X and slide it over. Okay, so it still kind of gives us that kind of clean line uh, here. Let's see. Maybe it needs to be. It needs to meet halfway. Let's see. Uh, let me put that here first. And it's still considered low polish. You can see here it's kind of crude looking. All right, that one right there, we probably need to move that down a little bit. Anything at the center line, of course, you will not get your symmetry because it's uh, it's in the center. Okay, move that in there and keeping close eye on that one. It, symmetry is running. Sometimes symmetry stops working and um, you have to reset the uh, restart blender and all that kind of stuff. Oh, right here it's working so hopefully you're not going to have that issue. All right so I got that all the way right there and then we need to select this face again. Okay so press number three or go to face mode select it. And then here we're just going to press I and set polygon until it matches the outer line. Maybe uh, let me click undo I again and just kind of move this a little bit right there. Okay. And if you're looking at the, um, the can, uh, we need to move that down a little bit. So it kind of goes down just a little bit, not too much. Okay. And then we go number seven here. We're going to have to create this part here. So it just goes all the way here uh, until we put this separate object right here. So again, we're going to press I until it kind of matches all the shape right here. Okay, and I'm going to go back to point mode. Okay, and pretty much everything's matching here. So here I'm just going to move that and then this one we probably gonna have to go manual now go like so all this part go all the way here okay this one as well Just got to position those properly after. So I'm just going to bring them down so you can see what's happening to all the polygons on top. All right, so now that we got them all here, I can uh, position those now. Probably that's fine right there, here. All right, so we can't really see here on the opening, but uh, we do want to create this uh, part where it kind of smooths out like so. Okay, there's that. Okay, and then um, we got to do one more. Um, so I'm going to go back to face mode again. Press I. Okay, and then we'll stop at the part where right here. I'm going to press I right here and then just kind of follow this shape. All right. 
here. I need to go back. All right. All right, so here you gotta click this one and it's kind of moving this manually by pressing G as in our move tool shortcut. All right, uh, maybe right there it would. Okay, and then one more time. Select this, press I again. Okay, except this time we're going to select all the edges here. This one, this one. So I'm just shift clicking them right now. Maybe up to there. And then just kind of lower those a bit. So, all right, maybe that one as well. So, because it slows, uh, slowly tries to kind of do that dip. All right, and we're starting seeing some artifact right here where. Uh, we're getting some weird cuts now because it's all just out uh, plain. There's no geometry. So I'm going to do a knife tool right here to connect this to. So I'm going to press K. I'm going to select that point and click this point right here. Then press Enter. All right. So that gives it a little bit of stability right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. So press K here snap it to that one it it's magnetized so it just goes like so and press k all right so we'll do the same thing here all right let's see hopefully you'll get rid of all those uh lines right there once we get our topology kind of fixed right here all right maybe one more All right, so it's, it's no quad, and the height is our main issue right here because hopefully those are just gradually going down a little bit. All right. Okay, I'm going to try and... Uh, add them in here as well. Uh, we could have done a symmetry on this one or mirror it, cut it in half, but uh, it's uh, it's all right. I mean, it's not, it's not a whole lot of work connecting this. Because we could also run a uh, cut in the middle. Let's see if that will help. And that will give us uh, the quads that we need if we run it here or two lines okay so let's see I'm gonna do control R get two of them okay and then we will hit K right here um, did we need three I think so okay but uh, let's see this because sometimes it, it won't need it uh, Okay, and then here, let's fix this topology. We still have like a five sides right there, but for now, let's leave that alone for now. Probably can fix it later. All right, there you go. We got rid of the, we got rid of the lines right there. All right, and then uh, let's see. It's on 30 degrees. Let me increase that to, uh, so, uh, Let's see, make those kind of 
uh, harsh lines right there. Uh, let's take a look. Um, they actually have a few bevel in there, but this line for sure is uh, supposed to be uh, a little bit uh, sharp. So I'm going to right click it, mark sharp. Okay, so now that uh, I'll show that it's marked sharp, let's do the same thing here. Let's make that mark sharp as well. All right. Uh, let's, uh, this one right here is also supposed to be marked sharp. And maybe those two right there. So I'm going to shift, alt, click. That's what I'm doing here to include all those. All right, let's take a look. Okay, there it is. All right, maybe uh, this one is not mark sharp. Let's see. Clear sharp. All right, I think that's what it kind of looks like. All right, so that's done, and then we just have to create this... Uh, what the pop kind of lid um, we can create just a uh, kind of like a new object for it or we can extract parts right here that would we could use for it okay um, we could use the uh, let's see I think maybe this part right here before we change any of the elevation all right so what I'll select I'll do is uh, I'm gonna press number three select all this okay let's see if this will work all right so I'm gonna shift D to duplicate it then move it up so oh undo sorry before I'm doing any of that get rid of uh, symmetry okay we don't want symmetry kind of joining okay shift D all right, and symmetry is off, right? And then I'm going to press P to separate it by selection. So now this is a new object. All right, so I'm going to press number seven. Okay, and then we're going to turn off the visibility of the cylinder, which is the coke can. We should have named that already, but let me get rid of it. So now we're only seeing this. Let's press tab here, and I'm going to press uh, one to select everything. All right, and then uh, actually press number two, and then I'm going to clear sharp for now, so there's nothing sharp right there. So um, let's turn back symmetry, okay? Uh, and I'm going to move this up here a little bit, and then we'll get that shape um, uh, done as well, okay? So first, let's fix this. I'm going to go to number one, and. Uh, uh, let's move this one right here so what I'll do is just kind of recycling this object we could have started also with a brand new uh, mesh but I think uh, there's a benefit to kind of using this because you're already kind of familiar with the shape actually I'm gonna grab those and move them down here then we'll just extrude that part so that uh, we're not stretching way too much uh, uh, polygons okay so I'll leave it kind of like that then I'll extrude that and create that part Take a look here. All right, we need, might need to cram a lot of those going in there. Okay, we definitely have more polygons. So I'll move. I'll definitely move this here.
we got more polygons right there, so we'll kind of equally distribute them. Let's now bring most of this down here. All right, so I want to flatten this guys right here. So I'm going to go S, sorry, <laughs> S, Y, 0. I will kind of flatten all those. And um, here uh, I will select this edge. Press A to extrude. Just kind of right click again so that, just, oops. Yeah. turn off symmetry very important when you do any extrusion that that thing is not active otherwise it'll, it'll fight what's happening okay then kind of just reshape this oh I did forget to turn it on though so I'll turn it on for this one All right, and then uh, here I'm going to do Control R. Right there, so that we can go like that. Okay, <laughs> then have a little bit more of a polygon right here, so it's not too uh, uh, it's not too lacking of uh, geometry. Okay, so there's that shape. Let's go back here, and then I'm going to turn off sy uh, symmetry again. I'm going to select all this, press E to extrude, oh, right click to cancel, I'm just going to move it like this so it's always kind of straight, all right, and then uh, we're going to uh, kind of do the exact same thing as this one. Uh, we could um, actually uh, just select this and then uh, flip it over. Uh, we could do that because we it has all this kind of shape already right here and then we can just delete uh, and make that shape a lot easier to manage all right so here I'm going to do s y 0 so it's kind of flat like so and I'm going to press s to kind of all right and then I'll do a selection here I'm going to press number three and I'm going to select all of this only okay I'm going to do Shifty with the um, uh, symmetry off, Shifty, okay, and then let's move it up here. Actually, let me move it with my um, move tool, and then we're going to rotate it, so that would be R180, okay, and then we can kind of like so. so it's almost almost the same shape so let's do some fixing here so I'm going to select all this uh, actually first uh, undo that just kind of scale it to kind of fit right there okay I'm gonna select all these points and those two as well I'm gonna do S Y 0 to kind of just flatten those. They're not connected yet, but we can uh, make a uh, merging later on and then kind of connect all of them. All right, so here's just the same thing. Turn on symmetry, and we go back to work with 
getting the shape. All right, here. All right, and then of course here, I'm gonna go lock this up. And there are other ways to do it. You can also do Boolean on this one. It's just that uh, uh, it's more a study on basic submodeling here where you're doing everything manually. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There's just better ways or faster way. But when you're just still kind of learning edit mode, it's good to kind of see how things can be done manually. All right. And I think that's that. And then, of course, these things are not um, welded yet you can see here they're not matching right so you select two of them press M and then merge at center okay when I select those two shift R would repeat the last command so shift R select those two shift R shift R shift R you could also do merge by distance but this one again we're showing uh, some merging techniques here. Okay, let's take a look. Let's turn off the uh, cylinder. I'm gonna save as as a number four. Let's bring back the cylinder. All right, so where's our object? There it is. Uh, we want to make it into uh, 3D. So we simply add a modifier called solidify. With the object selected in object mode, solidify right here. Okay, and then it just kind of simply gives it thickness right there. Okay, I think that's kind of good enough, whatever the default is, and then you can change the thickness, of course. Uh, but this is not 3D yet. Uh, it's 3D, but it's not solid okay so you have to click apply actually to get that thing to work so we're gonna hit apply right here so now when you hit tab it's a solid object okay uh, what we can do here is start beveling a lot of this uh, edges okay so first thing is I want to go apply scale then we can do our object I mean our edge selection here those will have to be, um, I'm not sure if the bottom right there is supposed to be smooth. Pretty sure it's smooth right there. Well, might as well. I think it should be smooth. All right, so if I go to uh, wireframe mode and x-ray, it should be those lines. So did I miss some? Yep. Yeah, those lines should be added as well. All right. It's basically all the outer edge. Okay, now let's take a look. Right click, bevel. some elevation issue oh did we miss some things let's see just want to make sure that it's really flat it looks like it is bevel all right uh, okay let's take a look yeah let's get rid of auto smooth mode Okay, 
it's giving us some artifact right here. Uh, simply there's this massive uh, distance of no geometry. Okay, let me try adding a, uh, okay, connect those lines. That kind of help a bit. Let me do a control R that goes all the way around. But the issue is right here. It's not liking how there's this weird, not enough kind of geometry deal right here. So let me click undo before we even add the bevel. All right, so it's not liking this one, obviously, because it's like it's a skewed, weird angle. So this should have been kind of, I have another cut right here. Maybe this one goes here, another cut. Um, let's take a look. Um, I guess we kind of skip out on the geometry here. I could have moved a lot of these things here. So... Well, that would work for now. Uh, let me just try to bevel it here. Oops. Uh, we probably don't need this lines here. And the one at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to dissolve those. Now let's just get this all the way around. Okay, that works. Here, uh, we're going to get that for sure. Let me see. Yeah, because again, that weird kind of cut right there. All right, but for now, I think that would work for now. At least we got this beveled edge right here and just the button right there it will just be a sphere let's take a look at the photo okay I'm gonna get a sphere UV sphere uh, I'm just gonna go 16 okay I'm gonna, gonna scale that and kind of position it I just went to uh, edit mode and uh, sorry, wireframe mode. Okay, then number one. I just need to bring it all the way and then scale it like so. Okay, and then we'll kind of position it. Um, straight smooth. GZ. Right there. Okay, so let's hide this. And I think we are done. It's just weird that uh, it's kind of sideways like this. Uh, we could move the uh, label. We can kind of rotate it. I should have rotated the can before uh, we did any of that. But it will still work. Uh, we can rotate the label or you can just rotate the, uh, uh, the can before we did that one. Okay. So let's take a look. We're in EV right now, uh, not in, uh, this is the final render, so. All right. And let's see, do we need to make this, uh, let's also give this a, uh, that coat aluminum. I think we need to move it up a little bit. This one, GZ.
All right. And that concludes this exercise.